Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and your person and where is it all headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching every time. So take what applies to you, what resonates for you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Aquarius regarding love, regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? One more. Okay, it feels good. For Aquarius. Energies are between Aquarius and this person. Overall energy, the moon, Pisces energy there with the Ten of Wands. On your side, we have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. On their side, we have the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Future energies down here. And overall energy, the Ten of Swords. So there could have been an ending here that happened between you and this person already. Um, or an ending that's happening now. This is a difficult ending, especially the Ten of Wands is here. So it's like, it's been building up. It's gotten to the point where it's no longer sustainable. There's a burden or obligation that someone can no longer carry. And the moon, it's like there's confusion. There's a lack of clarity here. Illusions as well. Tell me about the energies between Aquarius and this person. Very little major arcana here. So I don't think this is like major shifts in energy happening. I get the feeling this has been happening for some time. Tell me more about the energies between Aquarius and this person. Broken silence, honesty, courage, expression, open up, be vulnerable and express your true feelings. Sweet dreams, fantasy, dreams, imagination, your dreams are becoming reality. I don't know if I like the energy I'm getting from that. Let's see, what else? What else can we tell us, Spirit? About the energies between Aquarius and this person. Maybe someone's hoping for their dream to become reality once they break the silence here. I keep getting this broken silence card uh, recently for a lot of signs. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. If you are curious, it's linked in the description box. What else do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius and this person? Oh, I got two. Concern and bad health. Okay, so, hmm. Something is going on here where it's like someone's worried because things are not well. Uh, Ten of Wands could also be a card about bad health, like physically. Okay, so let's clarify. Because I feel like this is going to possibly be a specific reading. Let's see what's going on here with this Ten of Swords. For clarity, please, for Aquarius. Aquarius, I feel like you're doing okay, though. Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, Victory, Success. Um, your person has the Nine of Cups. That's why I feel like they might have some sort of wish or desire over there that they're trying to achieve. But they have the Seven of Swords. So sometimes that's not the best approach. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. What's happening here, Spirit? For Aquarius. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. This could have been the ending of a commitment. Ace of Swords. Mm. Some of you, I'm getting this was like a, a divorce. I feel like there's going to be some sort of a discussion, a serious discussion if it hasn't happened already about an ending here of a commitment. 
Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Sometimes when I see the Ten of Wands with a card like a Four of Pentacles, I think of someone that's been holding back too long or holding on to something too long. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah. Someone could have been thinking about this for a long time and then they just now did it. The star, bottom of the deck, Aquarius, there you are. This is your energy. So Eight of Cups with the star is like someone's hoping for a better outcome, focusing on themselves, healing, having faith in a better uh, future. Tell me about the moon. This might be surprising to someone with the moon. Or there's just a lack of clarity here as to why all of this is happening. Tell me about the moon. The star. No, the moon. It looked very similar to the star. Wow, the moon clarified by the moon. What's this? The emperor, Aries energy. Masculine energy there as well. Can I get one more for the moon since we got the moon twice? Why is the moon here, spirit? Knight of Pentacles. An opportunity over time. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This might end badly. The moon is about seeing something that isn't really there because it's hidden underneath the surface. You can't really see it clearly. The sun is blocked. Five of cups, two of wands at the bottom of the deck, and the king of cups. Seven of pentacles. I feel like someone is hoping for this knight of pentacles, but there's something off about it with the moon. And the Emperor is all about stability, doing things a certain way, the way that they feel is right. Um, they don't mess around though, the Emperor. So I find that this to be very fascinating. There could also be um, a reason for this Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. It's like maybe someone's hoping that walking away here will lead to an opportunity, but there might be something not very clear about that opportunity like for example someone has an idea of what could happen but they are not sure so let's look at your individual energies here aquarius i have you on the left and your person on the right but feel free to flip the energies that they resonate more And also, Aquarius, if you are interested in learning how to use the tarot for love, how to interpret the 78 cards of the tarot for love, I do have a book. I don't talk about it often, but it's right here. It's Love Tarot Made Easy, and it's available on Amazon with prime shipping. So the details about that are below. That's just for anybody that's curious on, you know, how to interpret the tarot for themselves, specifically for love. All right, Spirit, tell me about Aquarius's energy here. What is the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? What's the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? The hyena and the cosmic egg. Well, the cosmic egg is all about cycles ending. I think you've... There's a cycle that's ending for you, Aquarius, and I feel it's as the cycle ends. Yeah, there's the butterfly. There's a transformation happening, a change happening, and I think you're seeing someone very differently, a specific person. Maybe they're not what you thought. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. Or maybe the mask is off now that the cycle is ending for you. It could be that you're also learning about yourself, right? Maybe you were hoping that putting on a brave face or looking at the op the positive side of things would lead to 
success, but instead you're realizing that it, it, it was never going to work that way. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with or has been dealing with spirit. The raccoon, yeah. This person, they have the raccoon and the seven of swords. So red flags, that's all I'm going to say there. Let me see, can I get... Yeah, one more energy for this person that Aquarius is dealing with or has been dealing with spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? So many things remind me of you. Um, okay. Bottom of the deck, I bury myself in work to forget you. So it could be that you and this person are already not together. Um, I feel like this could be a past person. Or someone that you recently broke up with. Okay, so let's look at your energies here. Why the Six of Wands for Aquarius? Why the Six of Wands? Oop, almost dropped it. The Nine of Wands, okay. Why the Six of Wands? I feel like you're, you feel maybe free, even though it's difficult. Nine of Swords. So I think you're trying to look at the bright side. That's what I'm seeing here. I think you've been affected by what's happened, but you don't want to show it. Or you were hoping to just move past it. You're going to be strong. You're going to get through this because you're Aquarius. Um... Fake it till you make it kind of energy. Or perhaps you just look unaffected. You look like you're still doing well. This didn't affect you at all. This didn't hurt you as much as it hurt this other person. And so when they look at you, they think of you as like, you know, Aquarius is doing great. Um, I'm the only one that's affected by this. I'm also seeing that Aquarius, even though this has been difficult and will continue to be difficult, in the end you will have success. That's another way to look at this as well. Because the cycle is closing for you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Five of Swords. My goodness. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Queen of Cups, please. Four of Cups, yeah. You're not happy. You're not satisfied with the way things are. I feel like you, you find it very hard to trust other people. I think deep down as well, even if you don't want to be with this person again, you still hope for an apology or, or someone to tell you like, hey, I was wrong. I don't think you want anything to do with this other person that hurt you. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Maybe they hurt you too much. Maybe it was just too much to deal with. But I think deep down you have some sort of feelings attached here to this other person, but that doesn't necessarily mean that your feelings, just because you have those feelings that you're gonna run back to them. There's the fool. Okay, so let's look at your person then. Why, what, what's this 10, um, not 10 of cups, nine of cups about? Why is the nine of cups here? Seven of swords again, my goodness. Why is the nine of cups here? What I get here with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups is I'm going to get my wish at all costs. Nine of Pentacles. What? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Star, there you are. Four of Wands. Can I get one more for the Seven of Swords, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. I don't like this energy, guys. Because I feel like this is someone that is... Hmm, there's an unhealthy element here. 
you know they think about you a lot but i also think there's almost like an obsessive quality here you know i'm gonna get what i want i just need to be smart you know but it, you know i just don't pick up great energy from that can i get one more for this nine of cups Can I please get one more for this Nine of Cups? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. I think they're trying to... Um, what's the word? Hype themselves up. You know, oh, I'm, uh, I'll be able to fix this. I'll be able to come back. I'll be able to get my wish, my desire, my happy ending because the Ten of Cups is here. But it's all a front. I think deep down they're terrified that they won't get it. I don't see love here. I don't feel love here. This person's motivations are not specifically love. It's something else. And it, I don't like the energy, to be honest with you. What can you expect next? Knight of Swords, some sort of message coming in. Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. So yeah, again, this message I don't feel can really be trusted. Because it's almost like this Five of Swords is reminding me of the Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords is about someone that doesn't like to lose. They'll do anything that it takes to win. Very deceptive as well. So be very careful. Let's look at this Knight of Swords. There could be somebody else involved with the Three of Cups. But what I'm getting here is that this message is let's get together. Let's come together. Let's meet up. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Seven of Cups. I think you're going to be very confused by this message. Four of Swords. Yeah, let me think about it. <laughs> I'm just not sure what that's all about. Tell me about the Five of Swords. You might not respond, honestly. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Temperance and Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Sagittarius energy with Temperance. They're hoping to fix this. There's a Knight of Cups. They're going to apologize. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. So try to balance this out. But I don't think you trust them. Or you will be having questions. Six of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're wanting their Ten of Cups. That's what you need to know. Their intentions is to win you back at all costs. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, Aquarius. So keep that in mind. That they're going to do whatever it takes to win you back but sometimes is that even a good thing right because sometimes someone that's willing to do whatever it takes might bend the rules a little bit that's definitely seven of swords energy so that's what i have for you aquarius hopefully you enjoyed this reading if you enjoyed it or if you enjoy how i read hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care